Hey Tyson Fury here, aka the Gypsy King, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, as you can tell. Um, I think you've all heard that I'm going to be fighting uh, soon, within the next few months. And I think that before I announce an opponent, that I need to do this, just in case. Anthony Joshua, I know you've just lost a fight to Usyk and you're doubtless at the moment. Um, and I'd like to give you an opportunity to fight me for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World and the Lineal Championship in the next few months. You're coming off a 12 round fight, so you're match fit, you're ready. Um, I'm giving you a few months notice. Uh, if you're interested, I'll send you the date over and we can rumble. A battle of Britain for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Let me know if you're interested. If not, I will select another opponent. Thank you very much and good night. Boom. So if you follow Tyson Fury, on uh, social media uh, he recently posted up that video which you guys just watched of him calling out Anthony Joshua and you follow me also posted up one one recently just about a minute ago two minutes ago at the time of making this video uh, <laughs> it's him sitting in the throne uh, with the caption reading me sat waiting on Anthony Joshua to take the battle of Britain uh, so so yeah uh, Tyson Fury is calling out Anthony Joshua um, for the Battle of Britain, for the battle who will rule Britannia. He also posted up this photo or this poster of uh, him and uh, Joshua and the caption reads, Yo, Anthony Joshua, what are you saying, Big G? Let's give the fans what they want as Uzik is bitching. I got the date and venue who will rule Britannia. So, um, so yeah, if you guys don't know, Tyson Fury is actually trying to make a fight with Uzik and I think we can all agree that the fight between Uzik and Fury is the fight to make right now. They are the only two champions right now in the heavyweight division. If you look at the heavyweight division, Uzik holds the ring magazine belt as well as the WBA, IBF and WBO heavyweight titles. Tyson Fury holds the WBC title. It's the only fight that makes sense. It's the only fight that needs to happen so that we can have an undisputed champion in the four belt era. The first undisputed champion in the four belt era. A champion who holds all the belts so it needs to happen but um fury wants to fight in december uh that's why he's saying you know he he wants to fight uh joshua in a few months that he has a date and venue already in a few months um but uzik right now just wants to spend time with his family he wants to spend uh, uh december with his family and uh i guess stay in ukraine and um and, you know and just enjoy life after um uh, what uh, after a year of uh, you know the invasion of Russia in Ukraine, which is still ongoing, and um, you know Uzik having to uh, fight Joshua in the rematch, uh, Uzik just wants a break right now for the rest of the year, and he's willing to fight Fury, but he wants to fight him next year. So Tyson Fury is trying to look for an opponent for December, and um, before he makes a fight. Before he um, calls out somebody, before he uh, you know makes a fight with somebody else, uh, it looks like he's you know publicly uh, announcing that he wants to fight Joshua. Now, does Joshua want to fight Fury right now after a loss? It's tough to say. It's tough to say. Honestly, I don't know. Um, I'd like to see Joshua win first, uh, win a fight first before you know stepping in there against. Uh, Tyson Fury in, in in a big fight because this is a massive fight. It's a massive fight. It's a big fight over in the UK. It would definitely make both fighters millions and millions of dollars. But it would have been nice. It would have been nice to see Joshua get a win first and then step in there against Tyson Fury. But I guess if Joshua is willing to do it, if Joshua wants to, then f it. Why not? Why not? Because it has to happen anyway. So if they can, ha it can happen right now. Then it's now or ne it's now or you know never. <laughs> you never know. What if Fury ends up losing to Uzik? Um, if they do fight next year, and then what? This fight, you know, it would just lose a lot of more steam. So f it. Why not? Just just if they can make it happen. If somehow the boxing gods somehow allow this fight to happen, which honestly it does, it, it won't happen. Uh, knowing the politics in the sport. Eddie Hearn, Matchroom, The Zone, uh, Frank Warren, uh, Queensberry, P BT Sport, and Top Rank. 
yeah, this fight is is a hard fight to make. It's a hard fight to make, and it will take a long time negotiating, and a lot of back and forth. So I don't think it's it won't be that easy unless Joshua says tells Eddie Hearn, "Fuck it, you know, let's let's make it happen in in BT Sport." Um, you know, and he he uh, agrees to everything to uh, what Tyson Fury is willing to give him. You know, then maybe we will see uh, a fight between Joshua and Fury. It would be a big opportunity for Joshua to redeem himself, though. I'm not gonna lie. Um, if if uh, Joshua fights Fury and he beats Fury, it would be a big comeback win for Joshua to become a world champion again, and uh, would g give him another ticket to uh, a third fight with Uzik. But you know, we'll see. We will see. Anyway, Tyson Fury, I'm sure will be posting a lot of things. Um, <laughs> you know, he he demanded 500 million dollars to fight Uzik. Uh, it's a lot of money. Um, I don't think it's worth five hundred million dollars, to be honest. Uh, but anyway, um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, I think I think Fury is serious about fighting uh, before the end of the year. So I think we might see him fight before the end of the year in December. Um, I don't think it will be Joshua though. Uh, it's not gonna be Uzik. So it's definitely gonna be somebody that that uh, we might know of. Um, I just hope it's a top 15 guy. I just hope it's somebody. I hope it's somebody in this top 10. That's that's all I'm hoping for. Um, who can he fight? He's okay. Joshua, he's calling out. Uzik says that he doesn't want to fight till next year. Joshua, he's calling him out. We already know he already beat Wilder arguably three times. Parker is his friend who has a fight coming up against Joyce. He already defeated Dylan White. Ruiz and Ortiz just fought. Hergovic just fought, so maybe he can fight uh, Fury if they can make that happen. Sanchez is a tough fight, man. <laughs> That's a high, uh, high risk, low reward type of fight. So who knows who uh, Tyson Fury will fight? Uh, I think he mentioned Manuel Char. Um, <laughs> That's a possibility. Who knows? Uh, but you know, if they can make the Joshua fight, then why not? Right? Why not? Anyway. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening and watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.